Yeah. I? The message of Sable. I'd like to see what these pages hold. But that needs to wait. Keep that shroud on it. The time has come. While you did this, I finally learned who the Hierophant is. Argene of Sun Camp. We're taking her down, Dove. All of us. One last plan, one last job. The biggest we'll ever pull. I know now. I've had my suspicions, and the last one has been put into place. The Hierophant is Argene of Sun Camp. I've told Argene that I know her secret. And now she's asked to meet me in the ruins beneath Sun Camp. While we're there, you're going to plant the missives on Argene, and the gnomes will have her in chains, like she would have done to me. Argene tried to hand me to the gnomes for stealing the missives of Sable, a book they value greatly. Only you saved my life. She tried to do the same to you in Phasma and Rhythm. After that, we started putting my true plan in motion. I found the missus of Sable and found the Hierophant's identity. Now, we'll frame her for the crime she tried to have me killed for. Too easy for one. Even if this started with a need for vengeance, the plan's grown bigger than that. Argene's leveraged her powers to become nearly a goddess for the travelers. We need to show them all the truth. When word spreads of the Hierophant's arrest, they'll know for certain that their faith was misplaced. The meeting with Argene's affront. While I keep her occupied, you, Krilgeren, and Phasma will be able to move unrestricted. Where we're going is the Hierophant's lair. It's likely got some enchanted defenses. Krilgeren will be there to help with those. Meanwhile, Phasma will lead the gnomes to the ruins. You plant the missives on Argene, and the gnomes will take her away while the world watches. Phasma's got a tricky part. He's going to lead the gnomes to the ruins beneath Sun Camp. That way, once you plant the missives on Argene, the gnomes will move in and take her down. I'm the bait. I told Argene that I would expose her identity to the travelers, so she would ask to hold court with me. With luck, I'll have her gaze long enough to let you plant the missives of Sable on her. Krilgarin will be your support. The Fae have many powers and sensitivities. I figure she'd be best suited to helping you. I doubt Argene would invite me without having some form of security. Krilgarin will help you get past them so you can plant the missives on her. Good. To keep the element of surprise, you'll be using a secret entrance to the ruins. It's one of the graves in Sun Camp. Once you're in, meet with Grilgarin. Now, we've got to move. Do your part, and hopefully we'll see the end of this job. What are you looking at? speak with Grimm's fateless ally with my true voice, and your meaningless plan is exposed. These ruins are full of travelers faithful to the Hierophant, who will kill any and all who intrude. This ends now. My powers may fluctuate around you, but they are not robbed of me. I could see enough of Grimm, Phasma, and Krilgarin to learn this plan. I tried to end your life once. I underestimated you clearly. Now I want to form a peace between us. I could use your skill. Frame Grimm for stealing the missives of Sable. You are not but a tool to him since he first approached you in Star Camp anyways. 
I suppose you believed it to be mere coincidence that it was Grimm who first recruited you into the Travelers. Grimm is crude and cruel, but with a bestial cleverness. He learned you were fateless, no doubt, long before the two of you met. He planned this rebellion long before own stand. He only waited until the perfect weapon to fight me appeared. And that weapon is you. Yes. Yours is a fate I cannot read. I told you as much when first you prayed to me in Star Camp. I thought you were an aberration, but I'm coming to believe that you are instead a harbinger of times to come. Nature might cast us as opposites, as foes, but I believe together we might lead the Travelers to a Golden Age. So you claim, but I can see the threads of fate do not guide you. Nothing is decided. Think on my offer and take this. It is a key to the wings of the Hierophant's court, my sanctum. It is where I will meet Grimm. Grimm will be in the East Wing, remember that. Grimm is in the East Wing. Do the right thing, or face my wrath. Be gone. You have come. I was concerned, for Arjin has not come to this ruin unprepared. There appears to be many guards loyal to the Hierophant roaming this hall. There is also a strange enchantment not far beyond here. But they are not insurmountable with a quiet peace. She has contacted you? Grim believed she had her fooled, but her skills are greater than we ever thought. But so is her hubris. That key she gave you can be used to reach Arjean as well as Grimm. She will be in the western wing of the court. But to reach her, you will need to bypass a strange trap. One that watches the way with eyes unblinking. There's a magic sentry that watches over the path to the court. A statue called the Watcher. If it catches you, it will sound an alarm. But you can blind it. Extinguish the torches in its chamber, and its gaze will be lost. The torches lie in its gaze, so the only way to snuff them is with a bag of winds, which the guards carry. Use it before entering the chamber and you'll be fine. Though it is magical in nature, it still relies on sight. If you could blind it, then you could walk in the shadows unseen. There is an item on a nearby guard that would be of use. A bag of winds. Using it, you could snuff the torches and plunge the room in darkness. May the road rise to meet you.
Your farce is grim. You claim you want to blackmail me, but that is not your true purpose here. Why, your worshipfulness, you can't blame me for desiring to have you all to myself. This has gone on long enough, little man. I grow tired of your stallings. They will cease immediately. I couldn't agree more, my dear seer. Seems like it's time for things to wrap up. They've got the message, get them! We to get out of here. Oh, 
Ojin's hold over the Travelers is broken. The Hierophant is gone. The Travelers will never be the same. You are like the Travelers of ages past. I name you one among their number. They'll sing songs of you forever as the Chariot. No jail will hold you. And since you've used the Shroud of Omission so well, I figured you could make some use of this. Good day to you. 